welcome back to the Ryan Synth Advisory channel. My name is Nelson. In today's video, we are going to look at the justification statement. What is a justification statement? A justification statement is a section of the research proposal that is crucial to notifying people of the urgency of the research that you're trying to conduct. So the justification gives us your reason for conducting the study. It gives us the rationale as to why you're conducting a study. So it is very important for you to have a justification in your proposal development so that you may be able to notify your supervisor, the readers of your proposal, the funders as to the reason why you decided to conduct this study. All right, so what is the purpose of a justification? So the purpose of a justification is really to create urgency for your study because uh, the resources we have in the community are really scarce and so you need to give us the reason as to why we need to rush with the resources towards you and give you the resources to conduct your study as compared to some other study out there. So you also need to tell us how important your study is going to be. Uh, to the community. So you need to call our attention. You need to call our attention as the readers of your study, as the experts in the field, so that we may support you to conduct your study. So those are some of the reasons uh, why we usually have a justification in the proposal, in the research proposal. All right. So now, what are the components of our research justification statement. So you need to know that there are three components in a justification statement and these components each usually give a special detail that gives the whole justification its meaning. So let's look at the three components. The first one is the motivation. So usually that takes the first couple of paragraphs, usually one or two paragraphs. And in here you give us the reason why you're conducting the study. You give us the, the motivation, what drove you to conduct the study. And usually if you've written a good problem statement, then it's easy to come up with a good motivation statement as well. Because this one usually arises from your problem statement. It arises from the consequences of the problem because that's where you're likely to generate urgency. For, for your study. Then the second section of the justification is uh, usually the importance of the study. Now the importance of the study is usually aimed at your contemporaries, usually your colleagues, your peers, your fellow disciplinarians, the people in the same discipline that you're in. Um, then, So when you write this, you are telling them why it is important to conduct your study, why they should support your study, okay? Why uh, you're going to put some time and effort into conducting this study. So it is important for you to write a statement that is directed to your contemporaries, to the scientific community, giving them reason, showing them the gap uh, of the of the scientific literature that you're going to feel. And then you need to work on the other section, which is the utility of the study. You need to tell us why, uh, how your study is going to be useful to the community at large. And this is usually the immediate use, okay, the, of the results that you're going to generate from your study. How are they going to be of use to the beneficiaries, to your patients, to your clients, to your customers, whoever you are targeting with this study. So those are the three sections of the justification uh, that are supposed to be in there for you to have a good justification statement. So let's look at some examples. Okay, so that we can know how to draft these uh, justification statements. All right, so now the first one is the motivation. So here I have an example of a paragraph of a motivation. And uh, it reads as so, the motivation of this study lies in the urgent need to document the attributable risk of nephrotic syndrome and its main state treatment to the occurrence of stunting, so as to develop evidence-based protocols for monitoring, preventing, and managing growth, starting among children with nephrotic syndrome. Okay, so that is a good uh, motivation because it generates the urgency of the problem. So let's look at an, an example of the importance of a problem that is aimed at your contemporaries, at the scientific community. There is currently a paucity of published studies on the magnitude and demographical, clinical, and drug-related distribution of stunting in nephrotic syndrome in low-income countries. 
Findings from this study therefore will provide a valuable reference to the scientific community and body of knowledge at large as far as the epidemiology of stunting in nephrotic syndrome is concerned. So as you can see, this paragraph is directed to the scientific community, to your peers, to your fellow colleagues in the discipline. All right, so let's look at the last section of the justification statement. Now, this section here, again, like I told you, is giving us the use of your findings to the, to the community at large. So let's, let's read an example. Findings from this study will provide critical appraisal of the current protocols for monitoring growth of children on long-term steroid therapy and will generate recommendations to improve these protocols. So that is an example of a utility statement. So those three statements or paragraphs are usually what we find in a justification. So once you write those, then you're likely to come up with a good justification statement. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this video was useful. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit the notification bell and the subscription button for more videos like these.